Sunny Cop and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Today is Wednesday, December 4th. I'm Chris Housen, filling in for JP Mustanza, who will be returning next week. Here's the news that matters to you. The sound of a loud explosion has startled tourists on Bangla Road in Patong as a power overload saw several electricity lines short out and start a small fire in one of the bars on the busy street. The sound of the explosion boomed along the road at about 2.30 p.m. yesterday as the wires overhanging Heroes Bar and nearby power meters burst from the charge. Firefighters were soon at the scene and had the small electrical fire out within about 10 minutes. PEA Patong office explained that a broken lightning rod at the top of the power pole where the explosion happened was to blame. The Education Ministry has decided to introduce more English language classes in state schools across the country, saying these special education classes will help Thai students achieve at least B2 level under the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. The CEFR standard is popular among European countries and is one of the most widely accepted metrics for assessing foreign language learners. In addition, the Ministry is in talks with foreign embassies to find more English teachers. The extra classes will be gradually introduced in state schools nationwide starting next year. Pirate copyright goods valued at 1.9 million baht were destroyed by customs officials at the campaign to crack down on fake goods continues throughout the country. The 5,696 items were destroyed in an event led by Phuket Customs at the Sapan Hin incinerator. The items were either seized in raids carried out by customs officials as well as police and relevant agencies or seizure as forbidden imports. Among the contraband were clothes, watches, sunglasses, shoes, bags, as well as cigarettes and tobacco and other products to be ingested with the use of pipes. More Phuket Extra coming up right after this short break. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Citizens who provide evidence of traffic violations by truck and or public vehicle drivers will receive rewards starting on December 9th. The move was announced by the Transport Minister ahead of the five-day New Year holiday period, which often sees high numbers of injuries and fatalities resulting from traffic accidents. The minister said the reward will come from fines imposed on rogue motorists, which range from 200 to 30,000 baht. The transport minister added that those who send in evidence of wrongdoing that results in prosecution will be eligible to receive rewards equal to 50% of the fine imposed on the offender. He proceeded to encourage those who see road safety violations to take pictures and or photos or videos of said violators, whether its vehicle is spewing harmful emissions out or carrying more passengers in their intended capacity or reckless driving, and submit them to the Department of Land Transport via its Facebook page or its website. And fire investigators have yet to determine what started a fire at a construction equipment warehouse located near the Tesco Lotus Extra Store on Prapukhet Kia Road in Katu. Firefighters were called to the scene at 5.30 on Monday evening. It took over an hour to douse the blaze before it spread to another building located just meters away. The small warehouse, measuring only 5 by 10 meters, was a wooden frame structure clad with corrugated tin sheets. The structure was used to house a variety of construction equipment. And that's all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Be sure to check out thephuketnews.com and read up on all of these stories. For all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching and good night.